Are you happy with the way your content performs? Now here's the mind-blowing part. This blog post seriously saved me a whopping $40,000. You'll be writing down ideas. Content. Everybody creates it, right? Content is the king. You created, I created. There's literally no business that doesn't create content. But are you happy with the way your content performs? What percentage of the content you are producing performs well? And what percentage performs so good it exceeds your expectations? In this video, we'll take a look at five top performing types of content for small businesses that will help you to grow exponentially. Let's start. Take a notebook and a pen because you'll be writing down ideas and I highly recommend you implementing them. Trust me, it's gonna have a mind-blowing effect on your business. I'm Anna, I'm an entrepreneur and marketer, and I've been creating content for 15 years of my life in multiple languages. I design content strategies that help businesses grow. So let's explore five top performing content types that are amazing for practically any kind of business. First, storytelling. If you have a writer's block or you just don't know how to start posting content about your business, start with storytelling. Simply share who you are, your personal journey, and the reasons and the values behind your current pursuits. Trust me, if you just activate your memory, you'll remember some amazing stories just waiting to be told. Why do storytelling, you might ask? It's all about connection. Throughout history, humans have been captivated by stories. Think about Bible, uh, fables, fairy tales. Stories have this magical ability to touch human emotions and bring everyone together. By sharing your own unique story, you give your audience an opportunity to connect with the real you. It sets you apart from the crowd and lets them see the genuine person behind the content. In addition, your experience makes you unique and relatable to other people. And here's the best part. You can adapt this type of content for literally every platform. Find your old pictures and share them on Instagram. Record a video telling your own personal story for your YouTube channel. Write a long-form post and integrate the story into your content. Why are you doing what you're doing? What was the most difficult experience you've ever faced and how it influenced you? What makes you smile in your job? What challenges are you facing and how do you deal with them? Now, I gotta admit, storytelling used to be quite challenging for me because it requires the courage to face your vulnerabilities as it brings forth your values and beliefs. It can be a little bit intimidating to open up and share your fears and your beliefs and your vulnerabilities, but it's definitely worth it. So let's get those creative juices flowing. Jot down at least three ideas for your storytelling posts and let your stories make an impact and lasting impression. And if you have already told your story, why not share an inspiring story from one of your customers? The next super engaging type of content is an infographic. Have you ever created an infographic? If you haven't, consider taking the time and learning how to do it or order it from someone else. Because from the content point of view, it's a true gem. An infographic, short for information graphic, is a visual representation of information or data designed to present complex concepts, data, or ideas in a simplified and easy understandable format. Infographics combine text, images, charts, and other visual elements to convey information quickly and effectively. Infographic can be used to present a process, showcase statistics, compare data, or present a timeline or sequence of events. I gotta confess, creating an infographic is no small feat. Because first, you usually have to research the topic and then organize information into five to 10 bits that you want to visualize and then create an appealing visualization. For instance, creating this infographic took me three weeks. No, I wasn't working on it exclusively, but I had to learn everything about the apparel production and its impact on the environment and read a few industry reports and that takes time. Why would I need an infographic? You might ask, why make the effort and do something that is so time consuming? That's precisely the answer. Here are three good reasons to invest into creating a beautiful infographic. It's an amazing opportunity to stand up from the crowd. Creating an infographic takes a lot of time and effort. That's why 
few people and few businesses invest into doing that. It's much more time consuming than publishing another Instagram post. That's why for you, it's an excellent opportunity to differentiate yourself from the competitors. You're investing into creating a shareable piece of content. Wherever you're posting a good infographic, there is a chance that it'll be interesting for other people and they will see you as authority and a thought leader in your niche. And reason number three, getting backlinks. An infographic is an excellent way to build backlinks. If you're aware of the three SEO pillars, you know how vital backlinks are for your website's authority. With an infographic, you can basically build backlinks for free. First of all, there are a lot of infographic focused websites where you can just post your infographic for free. And if it's engaging, if it's interesting, there is a good chance that it will be shared by other people. It might even go viral in your niche. And second, of course, there's cold email outreach to media, to other websites that might include your infographic into their content. So please invest in one, two, three decent infographics. It will pay off. And if you love these ones, you may order them from Vendanic, our marketing agency. The third highly engaging type of content is research. Whatever niche you're in, research a topic from your field and posting the results to your blog is an excellent idea. But you might wonder, how do I do research? Here are the three simplest ways. The easiest way to do that is try to put a piece of theory into practice, because it's never as easy as it sounds. For example, in this blog post, I researched how to get a backlink from Cosmopolitan. Idea number two is taking your product and demonstrating how it's different from your competitor's product or how to use it in different environments. Idea number three, create a survey on LinkedIn or Facebook and ask your friends to share it. If you have an extensive network, you may collect several hundred replies, which actually counts as a small research. Then write a blog post on this data. Sharing your first-hand knowledge and insights can strengthen your image as an expert in the field and captivate your audience. And here is a game-changing opportunity for you. If you've done some interesting and serious research on a topic, others may take notice and there's a good chance that they will be sharing your content and linking back to it from their website. And this is awesome news since it improves your website's backlink profile, freezing your online visibility and authority. If you're reaching to discover the secrets of landing on Google's first page, you absolutely need to check out this video. So don't be afraid to roll up your sleeves and share your personal experience and expertise. You never know who you might inspire or how your content will impact the world. So just keep sharing and sharing. The top performing type of content number four is long form blog post. If you want to grow your blog to the first page of Google search results, you need long form content. Period. Long form content starts with 2,500 words. It might be 3,000 words, 5,000 words, 7,000 words, 10,000 words. It's a lot. So pick the topic strategically and create a piece of content that explores it thoroughly. Think about it as a small book on a very specific topic. Some examples of long form content include a guide to something, a how to article or a timeline of something. So think about the one that is most efficient for your business. And here's another tip on why you need long form content. This is an example from one of my websites. In a span of four years, this blog post had a whopping 81,000 clicks, almost 82,000 clicks, and over a million impressions. I didn't get to spend a dime on it. I wrote it myself. Even if I had hired a professional writer, it wouldn't have cost me more than 500 bucks. Now here's the mind-blowing part. The average cost per click on Facebook is 50 cents. So if I wanted to attract the same volume of paid traffic to this blog post, I would have had to shell out almost $41,000. The ROI is over a thousand. Crazy, right? And you can achieve the same results for your business too. It all comes down to knowing how to research keywords and how to strategically choose topics. And this blog post seriously saved me a fortune, a whopping $40,000. And the best part is it's still gaining more traffic and grabbing attention. It's a true game changer. And the last top performing type of content that you should definitely target in 2023, 2024, is short form videos. There are several types of videos that tend to perform better than the others and short form videos is one of them. Here are three reasons why you should start creating short form videos today if you haven't done so yet. It's cost effective, right? A short video doesn't require an upfront investment or in a lot of cases, a thorough preparation. You can shoot several videos at once and they don't always have to look neat and professional. Two, it's easier to brainstorm ideas. Basically any type of 
joke or visualization or idea that you might have in your mind might become the foundation for your next video. And three, you can easily repurpose your short videos for various social media platforms. By creating short videos, you are covering YouTube, YouTube Shorts, Instagram, Instagram Reels, TikTok, and Pinterest. Provided you have a nice scheduling app, this type of content will ensure the maximum exposure and reach. And you never know what you're gonna get. In terms of any results, impressions, engagement, comments, we reposted a few videos from YouTube to Pinterest and got much more impressions than for uh, these same videos on YouTube or on Instagram. It's amazing. Let me know which content idea you love most and what type of content you'll be creating next. If this video was helpful, boop the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and see you next week.